What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Kanye West is doing a fashion show in Paris, um, or he at least did it. And of course, He's known to troll. He's known to get people talking about him. He's just like um, Jerry Jones, the Dallas Cowboys. Keep people talking about you. But he comes out with this particular sweatshirt. White lives matter. Now, I want to talk about this because a lot of times we give celebrities excuses or what is happening or what is going to happen. But I really want to deal with brother Kanye West. People like brother Ray J and some of the brothers out there who are in, um, in limbo in, in what is limbo? You, you're playing a role in between. Uh, you're going back and forth between black America and white America. And I know a Barack Obama says there's no such thing uh, as black America, there's only America. And I can agree, but when we talk about black America, we're talking about things that really only affect the black community as we relate to each other. And there are certain rules of engagement that goes on in what you would consider black America than, than as white America, right? And one of the things that I've realized is that people like Kanye West, people like Ray J, they want the ability to be able to have freedom of movement when it comes to who they date. I get that. I mean, you're a free agent and you are in Hollywood, you're an entertainer, and I get it that you don't want to be pegged down to dating just somebody in the black community. That's fine. You can do what you want to do. And you can have kids with them and all of that, and then all of a sudden, those kids are you know, according to you, are going to be fully black. Got it. But then I noticed that as, as soon as something happens, all of a sudden, now that person is crying racism. And it's not just Kanye West that does that. I, I've seen black women do this too. I've seen them do it at the same time. And, and you know, it, it's to me, it's quite pathetic, right? Um, and I, and I, I, I don't get why they do it, but they, they do it. And so they start trying to cry racism. They won't let me see my black kids and they don't want to see me this and they don't want to see me that. And there's a lot of garbage going on. Okay, fine. But then this whole white lives matter sweatshirt that he has on, it, it seems like it's a joke and all that and could very be, but I don't think it is. I think white lives matter is important to Kanye West. Certainly white women matter. Don't they, brother, Kanye West, to you? Nothing wrong with white women, but here's the situation. You want to be everything that you want to do, and then you feel like at the same time, you should get compassion from black America or from the black community. When really, you can't do both. And that's something I try to explain to the brothers and, and, and some of the sisters out there that want to do the swirling thing and all that. You want to talk about racism and then you talk about white lives matter and, and, and wearing that shirt. Because when you when, when white lives matter, people look at it as a racist thing, even though it's not the case. OK, they look at it like that. When, when, when somebody says white lives matter, it's basically a response to black lives matter. Okay, And people typically say that are white conservatives who we would say, you know, it's a little a little racism. Like everybody knows that white lives matter for sure. But 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 whites are because blacks are, are at a more of a disadvantage than whites. So we definitely understand it. But we're trying to say that, you know, because of the situation going on with blacks, black lives matter. But but now you see Kanye West doing this. Okay, 
And Kanye West is doing this. But then at the same time, when something happens to you, you want to play the black card. But you can't. You can't go back and forth like that. And a lot of black people don't understand that. See, at least Candace Owens, I, I, I get, I, you know, Candace Owens, people like her. When they go to that side, they understand. This is where I'm going. My commentary is never going to blame at least white conservatives. And we're going to have, you know, this the foot on the neck of black America at all times. It's a, it's a pretty, you know, interesting way to do business. But, I mean, hey, you do what you got to do. But now we have the lukewarm kind of blacks. And you want to sometimes and talk black and then do buffoonish things. Like, there's a brother that I know. The brother is from the UK. He talks really, 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 really black. Uh, he's not here on YouTube, but I, I just know the guy personally. But everything he does, he's doing it with the white man, literally. White business partners, dates nothing but white women. But he, but he, but he, but he, but he, but he, but he talks a different tone, and and see what we got to understand is no matter who you are, you got to live what you're talking about. You can't be talking about my black kids and my black all of this, and you, you exclusively not dating black people. You're not going to be able to get sympathy from the black community, and then you have white lives matter shirts, even if it's a joke because it's not funny. Even if it's the people talking, it's not funny. You will never see people who love black folks that will do something just to get people talking because now all you care about is money. You don't care about your people. And that's where the rubber meets the road, Mr. West. It is unacceptable behavior for you to sit up there and want sympathy for how those people treat you and then write White Lives Matter. How many of them are going to come out there and say Kanye West's lives matter? Because Pete Davidson, isn't he white? Don't you consider the Kardashians to be closer to white? But these folks are treating you racist, right? Then you come out and do that. Don't give me the excuse that this guy is wearing a bipolar, he's a bipolar guy, and he has problems. You have a lot of black people like Kanye West who do that, both men and women. And then you wonder why nobody takes you serious. You can't. You can't. If you're going to have that kind of concept and stuff, be a can of Owens. Always talk like that. But you can't bend the rules whenever you want people to do. Because people don't respect that. Whenever Kanye West wants to date, you deal with white women, cool. And then whenever he wants to pull in a black card, you can't do that, bro. You look like an idiot. And you look like you are an idiot when you do that. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I already appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe, hit the bell. Check out the first clip at the top. And as you know, the buffoonery remains at all time high. I'm out.